Hello, today I'm here with a new video and we are going to test out a new palette today again. It's the only thing I do right now and today we're going to test... Um, I am going to test out the Mini Masquerade from Juvia's Place and this is the same as the Masquerade palette only it's in a small packaging. I have the Magic palette from Juvia's Place and the Masquerade palette is in the same size when it's the big one, so this is the little one. And I thought this is enough. So I'm going to test this for the first time today. I have swatched some of the shadows and I think I know what I'm going to do and it looks like this. So I'm going to do a purple look. I think I'm only going to use maybe these two colors. Uh, we will see. Or maybe I should take a green under the eyes. Yeah, we will see. So I have... Uh, this is uh, another video with my new setup. And I think... I think I like this. I think it looks a little bit more fun. Except for the black curtain. But it has to do right now. And... Uh, yeah, I hope the camera will not fall and I have the mirror here so I be looking down here when I do my makeup but the mirror is very far away so okay we will just get started and I will use a make a eyeshadow base as usual and I look super pale I think I am a pale person, but maybe not this pale. I have quite a few Juvia's Place palettes. I think I have seven of them now. And I really, really, really like them. The shimmer from Juvia's Place is one of the best shimmer shadows I know. They blend amazing, the pigmentation is amazing and they are really good for being shimmer shadows. Okay, so I will start with a color in my crease and I will start with this one. It's Sobo. And I hope this is not too dark. Maybe I took a little too much. So I will put this in my crease. I think I put it the whole way. Maybe I should zoom you in a little bit. Maybe that's better. Maybe this is better. I was a little bit afraid that this color was going to be too dark from my crease. But it's not. I'm taking it all the way in here. Like. I have always more trouble with this eye to get the shadow even. I don't know if it's because I'm right handed, but it shouldn't be like that. I don't know what it is. And as you know, if you have been following me for a while, I always do my eye makeup first. Even though I know how the shadows will <coughs> perform. Oh. Because. I don't know how many times I have done my eye. First my base and then my eyeshadow. And the eyeshadow has fucked up the base. And that irritates me a lot. So I usually do like this. Okay, so I think this works good as a crease color. I just want a little bit more here. And as you can see, I have hooded eyes and I like to put my crease color almost up to my eyebrow because it shouldn't, you would not see it when I look straight forward. So I like to put it the whole way up. 
I was thinking about taking the same decrease on my lid, but I think I will change my mind. Okay, so I will take two shadows on my eyelid. And I have changed my mind. I'm going to take Makita, this purple shimmer. Oh, no, the light is back. And also Mali, this green one. And I think I would take Makita on my outer corner. So I will take that with a big brush. Oh, that sneezing made me all like teary and my nose already. And I can't really see what I'm doing because the mirror is so far away. But this looks good. And with UV's shimmer shadows, I like to pack them on and then blend them out a little bit. But they are really easy to work with, even with a fluffy brush like this. You just have to take it in steps. But as you see, they are really good without any glitter glue stuff like that and going into this video I feel like I have already made up my mind about this palette because I have a lot of UVS shadows and I have tried a lot and I really like them I'm not disappointed with any of my UVS place palettes and then I will take Mali, I'm so zoomed in, this green shadow and put it on my inner corner. I hope this will look good together. I think that this turned out pretty good. And that is coming from a person that not are really in love with green or purple or pink. But this, I think I like this. I like it that it is so bright as it is. I think it looks a little bit darker in the pan and on the eyes. And I'm glad for that. Because I wanted it really bright to lighten up from this dark purple. So, I really like this. I really like this combo. And I think this... I think this looks good. So, I will... I have quite a lot of fallouts, but I have packed on the shadow like crazy and I haven't sprayed my brushes. So... It's not strange that it has fallen so much. So I will fix that and I will also fix some my base, my eyebrows and then we will put an eye shadow on my lower lash and I think I will take this blue one that's named Dahlia. But we will see. Uh, I will fix this and I will be back. Okay, so here is my face makeup and now we are going to put some shadow under my eyes. On my lower lash line and I'm going to use Dahlia, this blue shade. And I don't know, maybe we should have a little mirror. Do you have it in Canadian somewhere? You don't. You don't have a mirror. Do you? I'm prepared. Yes, you have a mirror with a little stick on it. Okay, so let's dig in. Do you see the <laughs> No. So let's dig into this blue one. Maybe you should take this brush instead. Do you have a brush that it's good for color to put color on your lower lash line? Because I don't. I mm. use this sometimes. 
brow highlight brush from Real Techniques, but I don't love it. And sometimes I've used this from Linda Halberg, but I think it's too big. No, I don't think I have any. I don't have a good brush for this purpose. Okay, I have to do it with this Real Techniques brush. But it's so freaking big. I just have to think of which way. Okay, so this can fuck up the whole look. I'm aware of this. You see me when I do this? Now oh, you can see me. I look like a little fish. <laughs> yeah, I look like a fish. I'm doing this and I got eyeshadow on my eyeball. Okay, so this is a blue one and I got it in my eye and it hurts a little bit but I can I can live with it. It will disappear sometime and I will do the other the other eye. Okay, so something like this. I don't know if this turned out great or not, but I one thing is missing. One little thing, and that is a pen on my waterline. I don't know what I should go for. Maybe a a blue or a purple. I think we go with blue one. So I will use a blue from Linda Halberg and these are my favorite eye pens and now I should have the mirror here. Okay, I will put this in my waterline. This was another kind of blue then it was a little bit darker than what I put on my low lash line but I think it's it's going okay. So I will put on some mascara and then I will be back and also something on my lips and then I will be back tell you what I think and you get the whole look because it doesn't look good without any eyelashes because I have blonde eye lashes so I will be back with mascara on okay so this is the finished look and something happened to my mascara and I don't know what's happening I I think one of my eyelashes fell off but stuck in mascara so it's uh, I don't know but this is the finished look and I really like this look even though it's like the four colors I don't like but I think it turned out great and I really like this palette I'm not surprised because I love my other UVS Place palettes but this one, the thing I really like about this, it's got like this, it's 16 colors. So these 8 colors up here are really colorful. They are shimmery and these 8 colors down here, they are more natural. Some shimmers, some mattes. I don't know how many matte it is, one, two, three, I think it's five. Yeah, 5 mattes and 11 shimmers and I like palettes that have both brown and colorful when it's a 16 pan palette because 16 different colorful colors I like to have some browns in them so, so really so, so, so. So I really like this palette and I can recommend you if you want this you can buy this little one uh, the mini because like the pants in their big palettes just have to open this these are huge you're never going to use these up so it's enough with these and this palette is so freaking big it doesn't fit like anywhere and this is so much better. So if you want the Masquerade palette, 
or the magic palette buy the small ones because this is this is way too big so I am really happy with this and I don't know why it has taken me so long to buy it because it's a really nice palette and I really like it I don't know if it is my favorite Juvia's Place palette but maybe number two so this was my first impression of the Mini Masquerade palette from Juvia's it maybe it's not so fun first impression because I have used so much shadows before from US Place. So I know how they work, I know what I think about them. But this palette is as good as their other palettes, so that's good. I don't know what to say, I don't know what it's up with me. But I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you're not subscribing please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you like this video, also press like so I know. It will come up some more first impressions because I have a, a couple of more palettes to do it with. But yeah, I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!